Hello, everyone. In today's session, I'm going to show you how to configure SSIS Integration Service, build your first SSIS package, and deploy it to So in order to do that, we go into need a SQL database engine installed, and then we also need an AdventureWorks DW database ready. And we're going to use the SQL Server Data Tool to develop our first package. And then we're going to use the Management Studio to see our, our packages. So demo is going to, we're going to load some data from AdventureWorks to another database. So firstly, we need to configure the SAS uh, store. So go, firstly connect to the instance, we go here is local, and then you should be say is integration service catalogs, and go create a new catalog. Just by default. Okay. The password. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's for remove, but uh, migrate to the uh, Azure Cloud. Okay. Cool. We have a uh, ready. And then go to the SSDT, go new project, and then go integration services. And we go DPL. Great. So we're going to move data from one place, not a place, we use the data flow task. Flow task. And then we're going to need a source and the target. Source will be SQL Server. We're going to be source. It's going to be OLEDB. Then the connection new source will be at adventure works. Device. Test good. Okay, and which table we're going to make a, a query? Come on, we can go here. That table, we're going to make an easy one and character uh, and the cells. I just need a territory country and by the date, maybe for the day. And the sales amount. Sales amount. Run. Uh, by sales. And by the year. Oh. Yeah, much nicer. Preview. Yeah, that's really cool. We're gonna put in another database. Before today, we're gonna add a stamp. So we're gonna do a little bit transform. 
So we're going to have uh, add another column. Yeah, it could be a uh, merge. No, just try to do a Add another column is from maybe from system variable. Uh, creation terms, find that tight. Yeah. And we're going to the target destination. So we're going to SQL database. Go read here. We're going to create a database here. Example is call new database. We call my DB. I save with the sample. I don't want to back up the transaction log every day. And we're going to right here. It will be not this generation string. We'll go to another one new. Oh. Going to my DB. Check. Cool. Okay. And then go be at everything. Go new. We need a keyword table and database name. And I create it. We're going to create a schema. So it's called sales. Create it as fresh cells. Not saying mapping, but default with mapping. Okay. Let's give a run. Start. See the green lights. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Let's check the data here. Table, fresh. Sales six record cool. Change it. Oh, we can put it here every time we chunk it. Let's stop first. Okay, so we're going to deploy to the, our integration stored catalog solution here, property. So now host Good. Good. See the server will be here. Connect, pass invalidate. Got a new folder that's called uh, my ETL. 
Okay, next. Deploy. Close. Let's check. Go here. Fresh. Here, what is here? Yes. Uh oh. We should give them a good name. And then we're gonna create a simple SQL agent job to call it so data can be loaded. So create another job, job, a job, step, here. Uh, it's gonna be a language package. Here, one. Seven local package package. Configuration. Uh, we didn't use any variables. Schedule. Take one. Now that's party party for them. There's some jobs. Ten minutes. Let's go. That's ten minutes. Ten minutes. It's okay. They may have a ex we may experience a permission issue. Let's try it. Start. Mm, nice. Select. Oh, see. So oh, data has to let's do it again. Okay. Empty. Run. Fresh, fresh, cool. Data has been successfully loaded to the sales table. Thanks for watching, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy it. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you.